you ever taken a path which you thought looked really promising, only to find that you arrive at a dead end? You have two options. Those of us who are a little stubborn might continue to try and convince ourselves that we took the right way. But for others, the only option is to go all the way back to the beginning and find a different route. In many ways, this is what molecular biologists are facing with regards to the origin of the living cell. Because of its tiny size, and the fact that we have 37.2 trillion of them floating around in our bodies, scientists thought that they had a very simple structure. But while they carry this humble front, they're incredibly complex. And this is what has scientists puzzled. A cell is an amazingly complex thing. If you could enlarge a cell so it was the size of a city like Sydney, you would find an incredible and bewildering array of complexity. You see communication networks, transport systems, factories producing component parts that get delivered to other factories. There are power supply systems, temperature control systems, waste management, the list goes on and on. So the cell is an amazingly complex thing. You see, the cell not only fulfills complex operations within the organism in which it finds itself, but it's also capable of reproducing itself. And no man-made machine is able to do that. And so as we look at things like the genetic code, for instance, we discover that it's staggeringly complex. There are sections of the code which overlap with other sections. The code is optimised so that if you were to change one letter of uh, one part of the code, it actually influences multiple genes. So the, the complexity of the cell is vast and we've really only just scratched the surface of it. It's really happened in the most recent decades. I guess the thing which triggered it mostly would have been the invention of the electron microscope in the middle 1900s. Because with the electron microscope, scientists were able to see the inner workings of the cell and to see the amazing machinery and the complexity that was happening inside it. Of course, with the aid of electron microscopes, scientists have been able to study the cell in detail. But that's the problem. What they've discovered is a whole microcosmic world that is challenging biological theories about the origins of life. The complexity of the cell makes it extremely unlikely that it could have come about through natural processes. I really don't think that the secular scientist has any viable theory for how that first functional self-reproducing cell could come into existence because if you believe in the naturalistic explanation for origins, there must be some point in the past when inanimate chemicals spontaneously assembled themselves into that first self-replicating functional cell. Everything that we see in the world around us points to a divine creator. All the laws of physics, chemistry, information, the fact that we as human beings have the ability to create and to relate to each other. We have um, a spirit, a soul, a body. We, can, uh, we, we just are so radically different from even the animals and certainly from the inanimate objects that we see in the planet around us. It all, to me, screams a creator god. The origin of the cell and life itself does seem to be very complicated. However, though it may appear that we've hit a dead end, it does sound like there's a very clear way out. Maybe it's an explanation that we as human beings have known for centuries. What do you think?